Hey guys. Um, first of all, I'm really all. Uh, I was gonna. I don't even know where I was gonna go. I'm really happy because I thought this lighting was going to be terrible, but it looks pretty good. So yay for that. Um, I'm in a really really good mood, so I decided to do a video. Um, I guess just with like a general update because nothing really special is going on, but. I'm just in a great mood and feel like doing a video. So, um, classes are going pretty well. Might as well start there. Um, I had an immun immunology exam yesterday and found out that I got an 85, which I was happy about because I thought I would, probably would have gotten like an 80 or something. But I did not. I got an 85. <laughs> so, I was happy about that. The class is like, it's not hard yet in the sense of um like material but it's like a lot of scattered material and there's a lot of it and you have to like organize it for yourself and um <laughs> figure out how your brain wants to process it so it was kind of difficult but um you know a few solid hours of studying with my friend and we both got through it we got um pretty much the same grade we were within a point of each other um, but I will not reveal whether hers was an 86 or 84, just to be nice, but, <laughs> um, or maybe I just don't want to look bad, <laughs> you know, what would be other, I don't know, um, anyway, so yeah, that's the only exam I've had so far, I have a exam in women's health tomorrow, but, um, I haven't started studying yet, <laughs> at all, um, and I'm about to go to Yogi Berry with my friends, so, um, I won't be studying until after I get back. But that's okay, because it's like 50 true or false questions. And, um, pretty much on stuff I learned last semester. So, I don't really care about that that much. Um, today's weather, one of the reasons I'm in a fabulous mood, was amazing. And it's supposed to be just as amazing tomorrow, if not better. Um, it's been like, it was like 65 degrees and sunny. And for February here, that's freaking awesome. Like... I'm just smiling from ear to ear. Um, and then um, I'm also happy because um, I went to Noodles today with my friend for lunch. So that was exciting because I love hanging out with this friend. And we don't get to see each other very, very often. But um, it's always a good time when we hang out. So that was exciting. And then I went to the gym with my other friend, and that was exciting because I ran a 10-minute mile today, and that may not sound like a lot, but I don't think I've ever run a 10-minute mile or at least clocked one, so I was happy about that. And then me and my other friend rented a medicine ball, and we like did some of those like partner workouts, so that was fun. It was a good day. Um, we, Me and this same friend... Her name is Holly. We have been going to this boxing class at the gym. Um, it's on Mondays, and we love it. And I'm really sad because I can't go next week because I'm working. But um, pretty much we just get to, like, wear boxing gloves. And, well, sometimes if the other partner is going, they wear pads to get to do the punching. But we do, like, punching and kicking and stuff. So it feels good because punching things is fun. I don't I don't know. I never really was into it. I'm a lover, not a fighter, but, um, I really, I have a lot of fun at this class. And, like, I work out, like, every day, whether it's my Wii or I go on the treadmill or whatever. And I'm, like, fine the next day. I can do another workout, whatever. But after this boxing class, I'm tired for, like, three days. I mean, I still, like, do my thing, but, like, my abs still hurt from Monday and it's Thursday. Um, it's just, like... But it's good. I mean, it's a good thing, but it's just ridiculous because you don't feel like you're, like, really working that hard. And then, like, the next day you wake up and you can't move and you're like, dang, okay. Um, what else is going on? I don't have any news about medical school. Like, I'm just going to end that here. I don't even know why this is, like, a pre-med vlog because um, I have no news about pre-med life. <laughs> just, it's a fact of life. Um, but, uh, the best news in my life so far is I got tickets to the Taylor Swift concert this summer. It was a long, long battle with Ticketmaster, um, but she added two extra so shows in New Jersey, and 
I managed to get the tickets I wanted because I've already seen her so if I wasn't gonna have good seats I didn't want to go and besides that the two times I did get through for Ticketmaster on the first um, couple tries they were the nosebleed seats and they were the same price as the lower level seats so that's like way not worth it at all so um, I just said no thank you and kept trying um, but I finally got the tickets I wanted at the price I wanted and it all worked out so I'm really super excited um, and in addition to that summer news my dad um, sadly got kind of like kicked out of the house beach house we've been renting for 10 years um, not necessarily not necessarily kicked out as the owner like gave our week away for whatever reason but um, the good news is we got a bigger better house this year um, so we're excited because well me and my two friends who always go we're excited because um, this house has this house has three bathrooms and <clears throat> normally we're like sharing and the old house like the bathroom was um, in between a bedroom and a hallway and my brother slept in the bedroom so sometimes we'd be like is, is my brother in there and like one time like we got locked out of the bathroom because like sometimes like if you if they would go into the bathroom from that bedroom and lock the door to the hallway so no one would get in they'd forget to unlock it and then that just causes a whole other problem when it's 3 in the morning and you're trying to get in um, so this one has three bathrooms and it actually has internet access. So we, we used to have to like sit out like on the sidewalk and try and steal internet from other places. But now we just have our own. So we're really excited about that. Um, I think that's really all. I've been, re oh, well, the other thing was, was that, um, uh, my friend at lunch today recommended a blog for me to read and it's called bendoslife.com and you may have heard of it because apparently he's pretty popular nowadays but um it's just this like guy that's lost like 120 pounds or something and he just like blogs about it the entire time um but I like it because it's really funny <laughs> uh some of the things he writes is just like priceless I've been like laughing about it all afternoon it's pretty much the reason I haven't started studying yet but that's okay. But anyway, that blog is exciting. And I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I also read this blog called Anondoc, and it's anondoc.blogspot.com. And that's funny. It's an um, internal medicine resident who posts um, things he sees and stuff like that. Which And it's really funny because you just... Like I, like, I have personal experience, and I can relate to um, some of the things he writes. And I just crack up like <laughs> some of the things he writes are priceless but I like know that they're true because only if you've been in a clinical setting can you realize that some people just like don't process the idea of health and it just is shocking but so true um and kind of is one of the reasons that like my main view on like how to solve the healthcare problem in this country is education but um, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, I think that's really it. Um, I'm getting tired of talking. Oh, but my other point about the reading the blogs was that every time I find a new blog to read, I always want to blog myself. And then I real and then I do it for a couple days, and then I realize my life isn't really that interesting. So, um, on that note, I'm kind of on a blog kick. So, um, if you want to check out my blog, you can, but it's, I can't promise it'll be all that interesting. Um, I like to blog mostly because I like to look back on it. Like, I've had, like, you know, a Zanga, a live journal, um, a blog spot. I've never had a Tumblr, but that's okay. I don't feel the need to have a Tumblr. My blog spot's just fine. So, yeah. That's really all. Um, I'm going to go to Yogi Berry now. If you don't know what Yogi Berry is, it's like one of those yogurt places where it's the frozen yogurt and you can put like whatever toppings you want on it. It's so good. I'm so excited because I've had it like three times in the past week or so, but it's just delicious and it's warm out and I'm going to wear flip flops and it's going to be awesome. So I'm really excited. So on that note, I will leave you all and I will be back um, as soon as I have more interesting stuff to say, but that might not be anytime soon. So I'll talk to you all later. Okay. Bye.